Listeners and podcast enjoyers too. The for real fourth episode of the podcast, man. The podcast where those, that is me, Roman, also known as the Armin, will ramble about things that has happened or will happen. And well, the first thing that you probably also hear right now is a different BGM because come because I thought. For the podcast, I want a different background music. That's why I chose Chill Out Lounge by Tewa Syndrome. Oh, well, pop provided by Tewa Syndrome, which is the same publisher where the other <clears throat> BGM I use is from, which is also called Cassette Tape Dream, if you want to know that. But yeah. Some stuff that has happened. I mean, first off is the fact that I unintentionally did this. Now, this the second time that this. No, this is the first time actually that the podcast man is actually a week apart from the previous episode. No, actually, it's it's actually the second time, considering that episode two was happening on July. 28th and then a few days later I mean okay not really a few days but four days later part episode three and now a week later episode four this is kind of unintentional but I want to bring some stuff up like for example a video that is going to be public tomorrow oh well on August 9th, 2023, at 12 p.m. Central European Standard Time. And this is actually the highlight, <coughs> sorry, the highlight video of Saturday's editing stream. Why? Because, well, in the beginning, I did something. Because I celebrated my 500 followers on Twitch. Which is also funny because <laughs> last episode I said, hey, I'm so close to the 500. I probably should order right now the thing that I needed for the 500 follower special. And yes, I did. And if you don't know what it is, well, it was a hot chip, a very spicy chip, a very, very spicy chip. Like, it was very spicy. Like. Carolina Pepper. Carolina Reaper Pepper, I think. Was it? Or, or was it just a Carolina Pepper? I don't remember anymore. But yeah, it is... It was spicy. Very, very spicy. And... 
Oh boy. I don't... I just want to say that... The stuff happened. That is all. And, well... More... To, about this is, of course, in the... In the video tomorrow. It, well, it comes out tomorrow. And... Hmm... Yeah, I for the people that have watched the stream, you know what happened. And well, for those who haven't, well, again, tomorrow. I'm now also distracted currently because of reasons. And uh, brain not working anymore. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. yeah. What you will probably also notice in that video is if you look into the description, most of my highlight videos. <clears throat> my 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 throat my throat is a bit slimy. It seems. Um, yeah, in the descriptions, I always provide from where the stream is, well, when the stream happened and when I edited the video. And <laughs> you know this in the, I put in even in the, even in the description that the editing stream where I edited that video is the same story. Why? Because, well, it was an editing stream, so I edited a few videos, which, by the way, if you want to know the other videos that I edited, it was Hello Charlotte episode 11, yeah, episode 11, aka um, me playing Hello Charlotte Delirium, a spin-off game of the Hello Charlotte series by the developer i think i've also talked about this in the last episode can't i could also be completely out of the loop it could be a thing but yeah um dead well how can i say this um Okay, I have completely... I don't know what to say again. Nice. My brain sometimes. Yeah. Um, I played Hello... I edited the highlight video of Hello Show Delirium. I kept it at just one video. Because it is actually considered 30 minutes. But I, I, I took a little a bit longer because of me dying a lot in the game. And um, yeah, I chose to well put this into the highlight videos or in the playthrough series of Hello Charlotte after episode two because of the of a yeah of the notes from Eva Rain, the developer. Okay, and I just remember, yeah, I talked about this in the, in, well, last episode. And, hmm, it is really interesting. I mean, I, if you haven't really saw this notes, I'm, I'm, will, I will tell you a few of them. Not all of them that are there, because there are some... Mostly from episode 1 and 2. Like... For episode 1. Pointing at Charlotte. Daughter. Makes sense. Then Felix Honecker. An image of him. Where he says, huh. Another in most of the game is spent keeping him alive. I mean, yeah. Then other 
the t- child being her daughter or their daughter is are the actual notes of e- from Ephraim. Like how low edgy this is cute. I mean, yeah, kinda lots of foreshadowing. <laughs> you mean like did foreshadowing for the for what's happening in the game or you mean like foreshadowing about what happening in the future episodes because I can't remember any of it then the Pivia Pivia storyline which are which are life forms from another world that sadly then got erased for reasons and well you just made it hard next to it then episode two image of charlotte with this uh, phrase daughter but frown face charles you bully bully who the fish is charles there's only c metaphor metaphor scalor the hollow people the hollow people, people, color people, people, the no, soul cube, cola, fog, I plug. Okay, okay, this is okay, and welcome. Uh, yeah, I plague heart wounds, especially the heart wounds thing is actually very nice. Like. It sounds like, oh, there's a wound on my heart. No. It's another metaphor would be the butterflies in your stomach. Which, um, at the same time, well, uh, interesting question mark. Especially that at the end of that episode. I don't want to spoil it, but, um, Interesting to know that the 15 year old has a C cup. I didn't want to know that though. Just sing. <laughs> so then Omnicube's heart. I mean, okay, the, those Omnicubes are actually really nice. I mean, you have a cube that gives you a lot of information about the environment, about how to live. And also that you can warp between your home and your school. But I don't only think I only use it in a one in one way situation. Like I'm at home, and then I can warp to school. But I can warp from school to home. I can only say, okay, first day at school, this this cube can I can teleport to this cube now. Also, fun a funny thing, if you have no idea how how weird the world of Hello Charlotte is. In Delirium, it got a little. It, I talked about this a little bit because um, they all live in the house, and the house as well can change its layout. First off, second off, the school is in the house. Like, literally, you're now on floor one. Good. You know the basement? There's no basement. There's only the school. Oh, no. W- wrong, wrong, wrong. Floor two is actually the school. And to go to school, you take the elevator up to floor two. You then walk across uh, along the street. And then you have to fall into a ball pit. Also, because it's an RPG maker game and it's mostly just 2D, sadly, you just see, okay, there's a, a big, big pit. I have no idea what happens if I jump in down the pit. Result, oh, you fall down the, the ball pit and then you're, you're in front of the school. Okay. 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 But this is... This is not the maximum height, because it seems that, that 
That's cool. Oh, wait, actually, no, wait. Charlotte's class is on floor two in the school. However, there's a ground, and definitely a well, ground floor. Or well, first floor. And, well. Also, there's also a thing called maggots, if you want. Those are just either maggots that, are, that behave like cats or cats that evolved into maggots. I don't know, but they, they, they are considered cute. And at this point, you should also be considering, hello, Charlotte, this is kind of weird. Like if you have, if you're scared of, of any kind of body horror. Yeah, please avoid. <laughs> Definitely avoid. It is. Hmm. So back to the notes. Over. Love is when you give up on yourself. Thanks, Frey. Bye. Who is a male character, by the way. The male character, or well, actually, it's a concept inside a hello sh a Charlotte's mind that decided to take the form of a male Pythra. Which I have some questions that I don't want to ask actually right now. This one, this one borrows a lot from sci-fi literature. Ah, for a season, but for a reason, but you know. Hmm. Ah. The most emotional choice is in this episode. I still have no idea what this means. Probably at the end, because, hmm. Hmm. Either that or something else, I don't know. Want me to read another one? This fry to Charlotte. So. Ahem. This is now for those who have. Actually, for those who will see the video of, well, Hello Charlotte Delirium. And. Also, to those who have either watched the stream or even the editing stream, here are the notes. Wow, the edge. I mean, it makes sense. It's an alternate universe. This level design, majestic. <laughs> there were two mazes and I have completely no idea how I get through those. Actually, actually, I think even Ray. I mean, the first one was in the house. The other one is in the land of, of meat and machine, machinery and meat, meat and machinery. I don't know. And the other one is also in the in the land of meat and machinery. And my God, I hate both. Especially the first one in the land of. Let's just say, meat. Land of meat and machine. Because what you have to do, first off, you see binary. You have no idea. Of course, you get Osiris. Which, note, Osiris will return to ball form in the sequel. Question right there from Ephraim. What sequel? <laughs> what you mean by sequel? That actually makes sense because that you can do... Uh, when they return to the house, the Osiris turned into a ball form. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, without Osiris in the in the first place, you don't have a clue what you do. Because first off, what you do in the in the first maze, the line of meat and machine. Well, first off, you land in there. Then you just wander around until you go to the specific point. In the map, when you then enter the room, you'll see Osiris right there. He will tell you will tell you will make a little deal with him. Then he needs to charge. You turn off the real reality filters, by the way. Which don't know what they do, but I'm scared. And then you have to find the meats. 
It's not, it, 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 although those meats are not flo floating meatballs, they are not. Oh, actually, floating meatballs uh, appear in episode one. Actually. They are not floating T bone steaks because there's right now a T bone steak in the notes too. <laughs> no, it's actually creatures. Literally creatures. Humanoid creatures, let's say. And, well, what does you, what you do if you, if you encounter one of them? Well. Hmm. Hey, Charlotte, you're looking a bit redder around your face and your clothes. Like a splatter, too. And then, after you have found their meat, I then came back to, to the beginning and uh, saw the binary again, and no series says, Oh, yeah, by the way, it says you need five meats. Yeah, thank you for giving me this information. The fact that I made the screenshot of this beforehand, so when I edit this, I can just encode this, like I always do, because I am uh, someone like that. <sighs> yeah. Also, it really said offer five meats. <clears throat> yeah, anyway. Back to the story. Back to the notes. Lazy story. There's a story. No, I mean, yeah, it kind of makes sense. I say only obligatory TV session. Which I then turned into obligatory dance session. Because, because the music was nice. I like how this game efficiently kills brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, yeah, practically, I have played the other, the other game, three games beforehand. That was already enough. So, also knows about Charlotte there with um, the question, and I will return with better graphics. Um, uh, what? What do you mean with that? Yeah, in the notes there's also a little bit of um, about episode 3 and uh, Heaven's Gate. I still like the free space with this guy spreads conspiracy theories for fun. Like, okay. Or with Heaven's Gate. Now there, an image, the drawing of Henri or Henrietta Warhol with Hearts and sparkles and not gonna lie, Heaven's Gates, Henri was... No. If I would jump into the game, I would be in that game specifically. Episode 1, Fish No. Episode 2, oh Fish No. Episode 3, you can only force me. And only by literally just... Just uh, dismantling me, dismembering me completely, and dismembering mem <laughs> to the uh, yeah, chop me into pieces, bring me into the game, build myself up into a normal into my normal form, and just close every kind of exit there is until I have finished episode 3 then only then I, w I would be there every, every other no so and I will react to all the well, notes now to episode 3 and heaven's gate huh okay the first one a makes sense daughter again what question mark Oh, yes. Okay, okay. Makes sense. Right next to it. Makes sense. He sent here to join. No. Just no. I get spared? Yes, but... If, if, if there's... If there's... Uh, if this... If I not get spared, I will just no. Uh, what? I can't remember any funny moments in that game. Um, okay, Henri, Henri, 
an. Mm. Hmm. Ha. I can't remember anything about episode 3 yet again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. I mean, okay, that makes sense, actually. That makes sense, actually. I mean, those, those, those were nice, actually. And I watched all of them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I still don't know what the fish is Peaky M. I need to. I need to consider. So, no. please run from the... So... No. Yeah, come... Huh? Yeah... Shut up, I want to see where, where the screaming is happening. Okay, no comment about what I'm seeing there. And luckily you can't hear it. Come on. Come on. Want to see the, the thing? Is that the... Okay, the last point, yes. Okay. Okay, I begin now. Okay, no, that was nothing. What is this one? Oh, that is the, the, the other thing that I... Okay, good to know. I should probably change the name of it. So, ah, better. So, know exactly what is this is. Because I currently have... In that photo where I have everything, actually... Yeah, I have... Hello, Charlotte. Part. Episode 3. Hello Charlotte Episode 3. And Hello Charlotte Delirium and Heaven's Gate. Which, by the way, Heaven's Gate notes. The first one, I'm um, ex... Oh, okay, wait, oh, whoa, wait. Okay, okay, never mind. I've, I've read this completely differently. <clears throat> okay, yes, yes, definitely, yes. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Final note about Heaven's Gate. Yes. Good. That is, that is definitely a thing. Also, yes to the second part of that sentence. <laughs> Wait a moment. I think I got the, myself a cold. Um, anyway, those were all the notes from Eva Rain. When she, when they, I still call her, call Eva Rain a sheep. I don't know the gender, so. Um, but yeah, um, those were all the notes about, well, Hello Charlotte, the whole series from, well, Beginning to end. Also, little something here. 
drink some water right now. Because, as always, water is good for your health and your sanity. And you need a lot of water if you play Hello Charlotte, because holy mother fishing fish, there you, you go instantly, a lot of insane. And uh, <laughs> brain not working right now. Why does it not work in my man? Roman now confused about something. Not not much actually, but um, a little bit about stuff. Okay. Um Yeah. I have right now nothing else to say you really. So hmm. Um I would love to ask you what you have done so it's nice stuff days, but well this is a podcast. I mean, it is currently live, but uh, yeah. Actually, I could talk about my ideas for the upcoming, at one point, interview episode of the podcast, man. I have thought of two questions so far. That is the thing. I have only two questions. That's really it. And um, I would like to have more. Because it would be nice. I mean, the first, the first one is is kind of bit personal. It's about that person specific. The second question is more a general one that I could actually use for other interviews if I do some. And uh, yeah, I still have to ask that person. It is one something very important. You should always ask somebody for their consent, which I want to shrug because my brain just he remembered about this instantly. Um, a new game came out recently, uh, Bowlers Gate Free, I think is the name, and I have watched a video about a specific thing happening on Twitter, and I'm still calling it Twitter, by the way, just saying about this new game that a lot of people say oh mm, nice nice thing nice nice stuff happening well um well let's just say you want to see nude characters huh you want you want you want to, huh? yeah. well here we go and people are just amazed about this because well they didn't saw that you can actually turn this thing off Oh my god, you can you can have nudity in this game. Yes, you can. However, before starting the game, you instantly get quite asked, Hey, you want to see naked people? You want or you don't want them? Because you can you decide. And well, it seems not many people said, No, I don't want to see naked people. Or naked characters. I think it, 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 it's more probably to say naked characters. Because, well, um, in that same video, something interesting happened right about this about this part. Where somebody said um, the reason why, a why people are upset about anime games is because most of the characters look childish. And well, that is because this 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 is a Western game. This is this is completely fine. This is completely fine. And then somebody said, said "Hold up, you can fish a bear." And then one sentence. The beginning of this one sentence just doesn't get out of my head. If the bear consents, it's fine. First off, it is an animal. 
It has no, it has no concept if what consent is. Second. I I don't know what to say now actually. <laughs> That's just Okay, okay, but in the same video there was also talk about this one scene where where a wolfman fishes an orc. An ogre. An orc? Yeah, it was an orc. Yeah, it was yeah, I think it was an orc. And that person also said, yeah, the reason why people are okay with that and not okay with well anime doing this is because hey Oh, those look ugly. That's fine by me. So, with other words, um, so ugly bastards and ugly bitch enjoyers have have the fun in this game. It seems, <laughs> or should be a bit more, bit give a little bit more power in in their sauces. <laughs> sorry, sorry, but um. <laughs> so. And back to... I have no idea of this. Good for them. I mean... If 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 you want to get fished by a bear, then yeah, go for it. If you want to see... If you want to see Wolfman X Orc... Sauce... Go for it. For me personally, I don't want to see this. Just because... I, I'm I'm not I'm one of the people who are not really into that thing. Neither to sing Wolfman and Orc, nor to bear, nor to fish the bear, and I mean not literally. And they have no idea what I mean with fish. Well, it is my personal censor for the word. Uh, let's use the normal that is mostly used. Frick. Or, or fluff. Yeah. So you wanna fish the bear, or you wanna fish the bear? Also, because I use fish instead of frick, it is. <laughs> Thanks. It is. It is. It's really funny if I remember in one game. That, that they that two characters wanted to play some cards and the other one the first one asked what should we play and the other said hmm go fish and my mind instantly went to oh you want to go fishing some 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 you know fishing and yeah by the way I think I have talked about this at one point somewhere in the past but the reason why I say fish instead of well frick is because first of all I don't like to use frick because it sounds weird and well fish it has the word fish instead has a little bit of a history because when I was a bit younger a younger Roman I watched a different youtuber who also went by the name of Roman. He's now a bit popular, I think. Which is also the reason why one of well, one of my oldest video videos got a little bit of a boost, I think, back in 2020. Because of that person, unknowingly, by the way, because the video that I published was from 2018, and he made made those videos in, well, 2020, so it was not clickbait, so <laughs> but yeah, this other Roman used fish for, well, frick and, well yeah, I basically, I just basically copied him from that I don't know if he still uses it, but I, I just like the, I just like the thought of, hey, you wanna fish me, or you wanna fish me You wanna get fished up or get wanna get wanna get fished up or you will be fished up. Into any unknown person you just say what does this have to do with a fish? 
So, ja. Yeah. Ähm, <lacht> um, Ja. Äh, ich werde jetzt auch nochmal. Ähm. Um, äh, uh, I have literally. My brain is empty again. How about what happened today at my work? Or, well, recently at my work? Um. I think I've talked about this previously in a few episodes about the problem with SharePoint. If if you have no idea what I mean by that, well, at work we use SharePoint for coming for exchanging files between customer and comp and well us. Of course, not the IT because why why should we do that? We have the local file share so. And, well, we had the problem that every time somebody creates a new folder, there was a not-so-nice group in there that basically everyone was in there, and, well... Uh, the problem um, with that is that basically everyone could have just go into uh, somebody's folder, change a few things here and there, and the customer would just either go, excuse me, what did you put in there? That is completely wrong. Or we could, could go, excuse me, what did you put in there? And then F5 would break out and everything dies. Okay, that was a bit of a too dark, Roman. But yeah, it is not a good practice. So we searched for a way to get rid of that group account. And, well... A simple way is just deleting the group account. That was so fun. Problem. Nobody can go onto SharePoint anymore and exchange files. Neither us nor I think also the customers. I could be wrong though because, well, um, it shouldn't be. And so then, well, we, 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 we have some stuff to do. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. That was happening yesterday, and well, it seems seems now everything's okay. Kinda. I mean, I learned about the thing with the customers. I think today, and yeah, that is it. Then I had a nice in uh, little meeting with an associate of a specific company that. We try to use the product. Where well, we try to use the product because we want to get rid of a specific product because it is old and costs a lot. And I mean, if if the thing that that we buy costs about well five thousand euros, if you have a five uh, five year plan, to a thing that costs. 20,000 um, it, it is a good that is a good dif difference yeah you have the hiccups too it seems why the f why buddy but yeah it was a it was a very nice and short meeting like we booked for 30 minutes and it, and well you know how the meeting went Hey, Roman, how are you? How's the current status? Oh, okay, your boss said yes. Okay, look it up. Um, huh. In our new tools, something ain't right here. But I see he did sign the contract. Okay, I need to look it up a bit more. So, but yeah. It's nice. And call. Of course, there was a little bit more. But yeah. 30 minutes books booked, 7 minutes of total meeting. Oh, what could this? Yes, well, the other meetings with the whole IT up de uh, department, which is just me, my colleague, and my boss. This, this is a bit, a bit longer. Uh, it's just a tiny bit long, not, not too much, not too much though. And, um, yeah, we also got the new colleague. 
That, that, that guy was blue. That new colic was nice. From the looks of it. And well. I talked about this. I posted this a while back on Media Social about this one colleague with the update program that sadly failed because the uh, because the installer needed a specific file that was already downloaded and it couldn't find that file and I I searched for the file and it and I pointed to the file and it says no sorry sorry can't do anything with this site it's income compatible even though it is literally the reason finally you downloaded and all this fish <coughs> and yeah i set up his new laptop so he, so stuff like this only he has to bother he has to find out why this doesn't work and everything's fine again everything's dandy And yeah, that is all that happened today. For those also who don't know, my little secret here, at my work, we don't really do much. Like, maybe one or two things a day, maybe three, three things a day. Like for example, for the new colleague, I needed to replace his docking station because he was he was on the, on the desk of a different colleague which is the reason why we have this new colleague and sadly his docking station wasn't not the right was not compatible with his new laptop so yeah luckily we had the docking stations in stock or in storage so just a nice little swap and that's it disconnect all the cables or Unplug all the cables, plug it into the new one, which luckily everything fits. And then just plug the cable of the docking station into the into the notebook. That's it. And it was noise. No problems so far. If for example, for some reason, yeah, it is a little bit of a power supply problem then uh, probably i need to replace the power supply meaning just unplug the power supply from the do docking station and this power cable and then just plug the normal one into it because i just i just replaced the, the docking station not the power the sub power supply of the docking station which again should be fine I think even the one that is a, was used beforehand is actually actually is it, it, it is okay, but of, of course it could change if something happens. Then well, we could he will inform us definitely. And um, hmm, hmm. I don't have no anything else to say. Hmm. What should I do there? What sh should I do? Hmm. I have literally no idea. Hmm. Um. Huh. I have literally no idea what I'm gonna do now. Or what to talk about. Like at all. It is not good. Um. Hmm. I mean, the only thing that right now comes to mind, what is your favorite pizza topping? Which is a question that I always ask for some reason. Because, hey, everyone has their favorite topping. People don't like the people who like, well, pineapple on pizza. Which, <clears throat> just so you know, if you like pineapple on pizza, it's, that's fine. That's fine. Your favorite thing? Mine is corn and ham. 
and a little bit of peppering, which is actually salami in, it's known as salami in Austria. And yeah, it is, it is my favorite pizza toppings. And well, if you like pineapple on pizza, fine. Only thing that I would be very angry about this, about this would be if you try to force me to, well, eat pineapple on pizza because I don't like pineapple. I don't like pineapple at all. Yeah. Um, also, the reason why ham and corn is because, well, when I was a little, little Roman, a lot of things happened when I was a little Roman. And I mean, like, baby Roman, child Roman, teenage Roman. Like, younger Roman. It's, it, most things that happening now is based on that. But yeah, um, when I was, when I was very young, I, when we ordered pizza, I looked at the, on the card, on the menu, and mostly, no, none of that was really my thing. I mean, there was one that I always ordered, but it had pepperoni, or, well, jelly. I don't know the, what, how is it in English, or in the US called, because, well, because pepperoni is, is a pepperoni in Austria, but salami is a pepperoni in the US. Yeah, <laughs> we, I don't know really, but yeah, the, 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 pep, the pepper thing, we, when, when I, when we ordered it, we mostly, I mostly say, just get this, get this off, get this off. And then one day my parents ask, Hey, Roman, why don't you ask this other one with, I mean, actually, um, I, I, oh, actually, I looked at myself and then I saw pizza cardinale, which is just ham, pizza with ham. And I, because mostly uh, that other pizza had corn on it, I said pizza, pizza cardinale with, with corn. Or in German, pizza cardinale with mais. Yes, well, mais is corn. Which was also, just remember, there's a video of somebody just about corn from from some, some ago. And, well, he also said it's also called mais. And yet, it is basically mais. Corn in German is mais. And, yeah. I then, from that all moment on, I always order my pizza cardinale with corn. And yeah, since, and it hasn't really changed that much. Well, I, sometimes I order a, a frutti di mare, which is with, with shrimp, um, oysters, and I think, um, it and hmm okay um those who don't see this as i mean you definitely see will not see this as a word on my twitch channel uh nico mice m-a-i-s i is corn m-i-c-e is mouse in german I mean, there's also red, which is just Ratte. Which you write it with another T and an E at the end. <laughs> there's a red. There's an Ratte. No, wait. <laughs> there's a red. That is an Ratte. <laughs> it red Ratte. The only difference there are two additional letters. And yeah, back to the pizza. Um, yeah, I mostly order just cardinale with, with corn and yeah, frutti di mare. Sometimes also with tuna, just pizza tuna with. No, I actually I ordered this once. 
because I was bored and now. Which, by the way, I just remember also something which fits to this with, with pizza. For some odd reasons, Domino's doesn't deliver to me anymore. Which, yes, we have Domino's in Austria. Just want to tell you this. But for some reason, the store that is as to the closest to me, like literally, it's about. 30 minutes away from me? Or? I think it, it is 30 minutes. Yeah, it is just... It is just weird that... A while back, it was okay. If you wanted to order something from there, it is good. But now, it is like... Hmm. No, sorry, we don't order. Okay, actually, okay, it it takes thirty minutes if you if you go there, literally go with your food, with your feet walking. Nine minutes with the car, about twenty minutes with with the public transport, and ten minutes with with the bike. Interesting. But yeah, it is just, especially on Google on Google Maps. Somebody asked, "Why can't can can't it deliver anymore to well to their place?" But this the, their place is also five minutes away from me. Actually, not even five minutes. <laughs> <coughs> and it's been. A while. A good while from now. Yes. I I grieve sometimes for Domino's, okay? I'm sorry, but when it happened, I can't. I could go there, but I don't wanna. I'm lazy. I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> and I don't I just I just hate it. I just literally just no. We, we deliver everywhere ex no you can pick the pizza up but we don't deliver or we don't deliver exactly to this side of of the city we just deliver to the other side which <laughs> why first also in, Aust in Austrian Dominos it doesn't say exactly where it delivers it is nice ha 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 but enough about, well, about Domino's. Hmm, how about not? Wait a moment. Ah, everything's good again. We'll sleep. Yeah, um, any future things that I just also remember to talk about is actually about how many videos I have actually, well, ready. Yes, well, currently my videos are planned like one video every week currently. And, hmm. It is. It is um as well because it is oh actually wait I'm I need to check <coughs> okay no I'd have fun ah uh. wait a moment okay something ain't up something ain't up with my scheduling again <laughs> of the videos so first we have Sonic Frontiers then we have Mad Father. And we have Hello Charlotte. And then we have Vitupa Connect. That is how it rolls. So, the video for Vitupa Connect doesn't happen on this date, it has been on that date. Don't you even dare just change it. Okay, good. Now we're, now we're good. Now we're good. 
now it now we're looking good and roman has forgotten the one for my father is also a different date ah this is nice that is very nice which is also funny because that video is ex ex exactly the that's quite a part of uh, my father <laughs> but yeah um <clears throat> now that i see the right there is it should pay with the one for tomorrow then the hello charlotte which will connect sonic frontiers my father Hmm. Never mind, I need to just change everything else right now because, oh boy, I am confused. Like, I, 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 uh, I could also do this later. I could do this later. But why don't I do this later? Because I don't want to, because I'm... I wanted to have it now. So my OCD is happy again. Just 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 change it into to one week later. And well currently with all the videos uploaded to YouTube it seems that Well next year will be Hello Charlotte only. <clears throat> like a lot of Hello Charlotte only. My god there will be a lot of Hello Charlotte. I think it will be only Hello Charlotte. Hmm, that is nice. That is actually not so nice because also I need to make probably a Hello Charlotte supercut with all the videos that I have that exists. Maybe I'll say Sonic Frontier supercut because well, episode ten, well, part ten, not episode ten. There's no episodes. Part ten. It's actually the final one and it has been already exported. I haven't uploaded it because of... no. Yeah, I still need something I need to do something specific in there. I will not talk about this now what it is. Because hmm, it is a bit... Hmm, hmm, hmm. But yeah. I like that one thing and then hell, Sonic Frontiers is over. I could make a supercut. I could also do something else with Sonic Frontiers. But, hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so, video for tomorrow. Hello Charlotte, VTuber Connect, Sonic Frontiers, my father, hello Charlotte, VTuber Connect, Sonic Frontiers, hello Charlotte, VTuber Connect, Sonic Frontiers, hello Charlotte, VTuber Connect, Sonic Frontiers, hello Charlotte, VTuber Connect, and then hello Charlotte because I haven't, well, exported the uh, Sonic Frontiers, but then, but yeah, um, hello Charlotte, part episode 2, part Eight or part seven is going to be released in uh, December. So in a lot of months. Sorry, looping from there. Yes, Nico, I'm good. I'm good. It just happens that my brain loops. <laughs> Everything's good now. My upload schedule looks okay. Except for the moment where I need to insert the Honkai Star Rail uh, well, the 1.2 update that I made. And I still, I think I need to change a, little, a few things because I think I get rid of the story unless there is context to a funny thing. Which I only think of one moment. <clears throat> yeah. um, I have no nothing anymore. So, I think I should end this episode of The Podcast Man here. So, I hope you enjoyed. I mean, if you enjoyed my rambling, that's net nine. But yeah, you can, um, if you want to listen to more or watch more of this stuff, then follow me on twitch.tv slash thearmen. Or, well, boom, all this stuff. Or you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at the underscore armin for 
well all the videos that i that come up till currently december actually even, I, I think even to christmas <laughs> if, if you consider hello charlotte part 11 slash hello charlotte episode delirium and um, yeah you can also follow me on mastodon vt so vt dot social slash at the armen for updates about everything and some personal stuff or you can also follow me on twitter where i just post announcements or when i'm going live not not so much private stuff because that it is for mastodon of course if you don't uh, if you're not on mastodon no or well if you're not on vt social don't worry if you're on mastodon it is fine just search for at the armen at vt.social or vt.social slash at the armen and everything's good everything's fine you can also try, also follow me on tiktok with the armen 98 same for instagram well twitter is the same also then also you could also join my separated r slash the armen you can also go to my Tumblr if you want, or vtubers.me, or just go anywhere where that is listed on diamond.eu under the socials drop down menu. menu. And uh, yeah, for those who watch this currently live, will be redirected to a, another channel. And well, the next stream is happening. Definitely on Saturday per, mm, or Saturday. I mean, I, I don't have a, a plan for the for Saturday, but mm, it is my brain. I think Saturday would be nice. And uh, yeah. I will see you in the next episode of The Podcast Man. You're German.